Hello and welcome to Microsoft Hates Greg. My name is Greg Deckler, and if you haven't been following along or paying attention, well, I'm going to bring you up to speed here in like 30 seconds, right? So, so basically, uh, what happened is Anthropic and Meta, OpenAI, and by proxy Microsoft, they all they stole my books, right? They stole lots of books. They stole millions of books, okay? And so initially, I was like, well. Let's do the mature thing, Greg. Let's uh, let's just sit by and wait for the courts to sort it all out, right? And they are slowly, you know, slowly but surely, they're sorting things out. So initially I was like, you know, let's be mature about this and just wait. You know, there's nothing you can really do about it anyway. Um, and then I was like, nah, it's kind of lame and boring. So, so I decided to do, like, what kind of symbolic, useless symbolic act can I do to, you know stick it to the man as it were right and so what i started doing was i i decided i would pull all of my blog articles off of linkedin and power bi the power bi community forums right because they're owned by microsoft and they stole my books and so you know like uh, you know blah 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 you know that's just wrong and I'm, I'm, I'm upset you know whatever right so you know nothing that would be too crazy to harm the community as a whole or anything like that, but just something symbolic that you know, hey, I did something right, um, and I'm you know I'm still also going to be filing in small claims court right. And this is my Madison County Municipal Court small claims complaint where I can name the defendants and go through and get my you know fifty bucks back from each of them for the royalties that they they wrongfully stole from me right. So anyway, so I do that, and so then Adam Saxton just e uh, emails me out of the blue about me pulling these blog articles off, right, because I'm posting, you know, I don't know, I'm, I'm at least telling them why I'm doing it, right? Um, but he doesn't like it, so he wants to give me flack about it, so I'm like, so I email him back, and I made a video about the email, because the email, in the email, like, he, he, Adam Saxton, well, he was, he's Adam Saxton, right, and, and he opens it with the yo, which I absolutely despise, um, and so I make a video on, on it and Adam gets his, you know, it's like his butthole all hurt around me insulting his intro. And so then he, he yoinks me from the super user program, right? So, and <laughs> that's, now you're up to date. Okay. Um, and, and we just, to be fair about me insulting his intro, right? Which I do, I really despise it. I can't, and the reason I despise it, right? Let me explain why I despise it. Like, so if I was trying, if I was, like, if I try to imagine, like, and try to parody, let's say I'm going to come up with a parody of some old, white, ginger, bald guy, right, that's trying to act hip and cool, you know, I, Adam nails it in his intro. He just absolutely nails it, right? It, it cannot be improved upon. So anyway, so that's why I hate it. <laughs> so if anybody was wondering, right? So anyway... So now you're up to speed on all of this, but now before we get into, do I retaliate? Do I not retaliate? What, you know, you know, what do I do from, from this point on? You may have noticed some changes, right? In terms of maybe the, the video is a little different, the sound's a little different. And there's a reason for that. And the reason actually goes back to Dax for Humans, my new book that I have out. And Dax for Humans, right, uh, it, it started as a YouTube channel. Right. So it started as, as this YouTube channel, which I've now rebranded to the book and everything like that. Um, and so. Now that I have the book out <laughs> and I sort of stopped making videos on this channel because uh, I was writing the book, I was right, actually writing two books at the same time. And that's a lot of work. So all my kind of free time was like spent doing that, um, keeping this video, you know, this channel going and all of this, other, all this other stuff that I have to do for my, you know, personal life and all that non work related stuff. Um, so, you know, it just you know, took a backseat and now, but now I've got the Dax for Human book out and I'm committed to finishing or continuing on with the Dax for Humans, the YouTube series, right? Now it's, it's really great now because I don't have, have a blueprint for the book, uh, but you know, the book is like my blueprint for going forward with the Dax for Human channel, right? Um, but here's what I realized and I realized this in making the meta base video, right? So up until now, uh, all my videos have always been made on, I've had a surface, uh, book five or whatever, um, that I've made all my videos on. And this channel, right? This channel is, is meant is Dax for humans is done differently than this channel. This channel, you might be thinking oh, this channel sucks in, in, you know, the production quality looks like you just fired up teams and started recording. Well, that's what I do on this channel. Okay. That's exactly what I do. I just, I fire up teams and I, I just start recording. 
Um, and it's and there's a reason for that. This this channel is meant to be very kind of raw and just you know it's like the the rogue channel out there, right? It's the anti guy in a cube, the anti sequel bi channel, right? It's not produced at all. It's just me just spouting what I think um, and and just doing silly goofy stuff with Dax and and stuff like that, right? It's not meant to be any kind of huge production or anything like that. It's just fire up teams, you know, record. And I used to not, I used to just post them live and have like the 10 sec, the eight seconds of like the team's intro. And, and, and I mean, they're really raw. Um, now I at least go into clip champ and like chop that out. Right. And things like that. But Dax for humans is very different. I use OBS, right. And the, and I use the camera app and I record both at the same time. And then I have, you know, I pay my son to go in and stitch them together. Um, it has much, you know, better production quality and that sort of thing. But what I realized during the MetaBase video that I did was that for whatever reason, I think maybe the win upgrading to Windows 11 on that laptop, it just really couldn't handle it anymore. Um, the video became out choppy when I did the OBS and camera app and all this other stuff. Had all kinds of problems with it. Um, so anyway, yesterday I just, I finally got fed up with it. And I said, well, if I'm going to create Dax for Humans videos, I'm going to need something else, right? Something better. So I, 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 you know, went out and got a new microphone and I got a new system. Um, and it's a, it's a pretty nice system, I must say. So here we go. So I've got like, so I had like 32 gigs of RAM. Um, let me find my Zoom. By now I have 64 gigs, you know, gigs of RAM. And this is, this is a desktop computer. Right, this has a, like has like a 5080 graphics card in it and all kinds of stuff. Um, so it's a really, really nice, really cool uh, computer. And maybe I'll put put a image of it or the, my setup or whatever on the screen. So, but we'll see uh, what I do about that. But anyway, the biggest problem with uh, with new computers often is um, is coming up with a new name for your system when it prompts you for it. But in this case, for whatever reason, it, that, that was a that was a breeze this time around. So anyway, um, so anyway, so I have a new a whole new system and the whole new system exists because I'm going to be continuing on for the Dax for Humans. I needed a, a better rig to be able to record those videos, something with a lot more horsepower than I was dealing with on the on the laptop, on the Surface laptops and that. So that is the reason why you're seeing new stuff and, uh, you know, maybe a different angle and different sound quality and things like that. So, you know, I am making concrete steps to get back to Dax for Humans and, you know, start producing uh, episodes for this. So, and it's really nice that I now have the book to kind of use as a blueprint for doing that. Okay, so with that out of the way, question comes down to, should I retaliate for having my super user status yet y yoinked, right? And, you know, there's more, there's things that I could do, right? So, like, for example, like, I left, like, how to get your question answered quickly, right? It's, like, by far the most popular. I mean, they pin it, right, to the, the desktop forum and the DAX commands and tips, right? It's pinned, right? It's got the most views of basically anything that's out there on the site. And so I could, I left those, right? I, I purposely left just the general help articles out there. I mean, because I wasn't trying to be a dick about it. Um, but, you know, now I could be. I could legitimately be kind of a dick about it and like go and do the same thing and basically have them delete these right um and then i could also right then there's also so this oh this is cool i'll make a video about this this is my map lines my quick measures right the quick measure gallery right you don't have to get these approved right so they make you go through this stupid approval process for blog articles and that but they don't for the quick measure galleries it always struck me as weird um, but whatever, but so these, I don't have to get approval. I can just delete them, right? I could just come out here and just delete and I could delete all my quick measures from the quick measure gallery. So I could do that, right? And maybe it's in, you know, there's, there's a, there's part of me, the intrusive thought, right? Is, and you know, it could be funny, uh, cause I always go with funny, right? Um, that's what I'm going for. And it could be funny, a little tit for tat, you know, blah, blah, they did this and I did this and they did this and blah, blah, blah you know, and have that kind of little escalating kind of little war, I guess. But, but think back to what I, I just said at the beginning of this video. It's like Adam Saxton got his butthole, like his entire butthole hurt over me insulting his intro, and therefore he yoinked my super user status. And the thing is, I really don't think it gets any more hilarious than that. Like, just saying that statement, 
is just hysterical. And I don't think it gets any funnier, right? I think, and I think, therefore, like, the running joke, you know, becomes, you know, like, you know, like, oh, let me tell you, like, the one person you do not want to cross at Microsoft, you do not want to cross this Adam Saxton guy. I mean, this dude is, like, omnipotent. He can just yoink your super user status just on a dime, man. You just you do not want to upset this guy. This man is all powerful. Like you can't even believe the the amount of power this man wields within Microsoft. He can he can single-handedly yoink your super user status. I mean, holy cow. No one, no one on the planet is as is as powerful as this Adam Saxon. You do not want to cross this guy. This guy, he's a maniac, just absolutely brutal. He'll just he'll just go in and just be like, yeah, your super user status, yeah, it's gone, man. Yeah, it's out of here. Like, <laughs> right? I mean, I think that's I think that's the running joke. And I I I do love myself with a good running joke. So anyway, that's all I had for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.